What is up guys, it's Penguin here, back with another video, and I have been tryharding my typing for the Olympics for the past month, and I have a ton of tips and tricks that I wanted to share with you guys to help out with your typing. So, here is introducing the first episode of some type tips and tricks that I have learned, which is to warm up before you type, and the importance of getting your hands warmed up before you start actually typing. Let's get right into it. So, I'm sure if you guys do literally any type of activity in life, you will know the importance of warming up. For instance, if you are a runner, you want to warm up to get your legs moving, your blood flowing, your heart going, you know, come on, you want to you want to get moving. If you are a pianist, you want to warm up by playing some easy pieces, right? If you are a soccer player, you warm up, you do your stretching, you do your drills, and then you're ready for the game. The same thing applies with typing, right? You can only perform at your best when you are ready to go, right? You got to have your energy moving, your hands going, you got to have everything going right. And warming up and typing is probably one of the easiest things to do. However, let me show you the difference between warming up versus not warming up. Here is a race without me warming up at all. I literally just sat down on my computer. I have not touched my keyboard all day. And now I'm going to do a race and see how well I do. And this is for no warming up. All right, and we are pulling into the racetrack. And as you can see, I get off to a all right start. You know, I burst out pretty well. It's a good text. Um, and yeah, it looks like a nice, nice race so far. But then I mess up. You know, I hit the wrong key and I keep messing up, which is really showing, uh, shutting me down. You know, I'm hitting all the wrong keys. And then I try to burst a bit at the end, but I still keep messing up. You know, I hit a lot of errors there. And by the end, you know, I keep hitting errors. I really messed up on the word second there. And all of the errors just completely slowed me down. I completely messed up on medium there. And all in all, it was a very bad race. And after that race, you could see that a 120 worst minute 96 accuracy was just, basically it was just horrible, right? That's like so much slower than what I usually do. So we have determined that, you know, when you're not warmed up, or at least when I'm not warmed up, you probably type pretty slowly, uh, which makes sense because your hands aren't, you know, you're not energized, you're not ready to go. So that brings me to my second point. You know, now that we know that warming up is important, well, how do you warm up? And there's a couple different ways to do it. A lot of people practice on other websites, which is what I do as well. So I have two websites that I mainly focus on that I get ready, that I use to get ready for my normal typing. The first one is Monkey Type. Monkey Type is a completely random typing website that I found a couple months ago. And what I like so much about it is that you can customize, you know, the text you're doing. So the custom text that I use is what you can see here is words 10. So it is literally 10 random words out of all the words that are considered to be common words in the English language. And you can see, you type the, you type the text. And you can see, you know, 134 and then 156 raw. And that's like warming up for me. That helps me with my speed. That helps get my hands moving. Because whenever I'm whenever I'm not warmed up, my hands feel really slow. So that whenever I do this fast typing, you know, I do 10 word bursts, right? It helps my hands warm up and get used to warming up quickly, moving quickly, right? And that's really good because it helps your hands, you know, actually get faster uh, doing bursts like this. I would totally recommend doing monkey type, bursting, wherever website you can do where you literally just burst out 10 words, try to type as fast as possible. It will help you get your hands warmed up. Now... Another thing I like to do is type racer. So type racer is the complete opposite of, of monkey type. On monkey type, I'm trying to type as fast as possible, right? Not worrying about how many errors I make. On type racer, I'm focusing on accuracy, so I'm trying not to make errors. And of course, I made an error right off the bat. So what I like about type racer is it makes you, you know, correct your mistakes so you're wanting to type more accurately. And once I've warmed up both my speed and my accuracy, I usually do like 10 texts on monkey type, 5 or 6 on type racer because the type racer ones are longer. Then I, you know, think I'm ready to type. So let me finish warming up and we'll be right back.
So now that we are all warmed up, it is time to do a singular race on Nitrodype and see how it compares to our first one, which was 120 words per minute, 96 accuracy. I definitely guarantee that if you guys warm up before you're typing, you will start to type faster, better. What this means is, you know, when you do your first 5 or 10 races on Nitrodype each day, they'll probably be pretty slow, and then you start to warm up, you get better, right? You get your actual average. However, if you don't do those 5 to 10 races on other sites, your Nitrodype average will start just as good as it should be. So it's really useful to do that, and my text isn't loading. I personally don't think it matters which uh, that much like which sites you use or which combination of sites. I just personally use Type Racer and Monkey Type because one of them helps with my speed and one of them helps with my accuracy. I know a lot of other people warm up on oh a Mr. Beast ad. I know a lot of other people warm up on like Nitrodype on alt accounts and stuff. That's great because it gets you used to Nitrodype. But just making sure you warm up is important. It doesn't matter where you warm up. And just like that, 5 to 10 minutes of warming up went, you know, brought my speed from 120 words per minute with 96 accuracy, one race, all the way up to 136, 98.02. So, perfect stuff right there. That's exactly what I want to be doing. It's a bit slower than my normal average, but obviously I did not do like a full warm-up routine or anything. I just got off right to typing. But it goes to show you, you know, warming up is important and it can definitely help out your typing. Also, it can, you know, help you guys avoid injury, right? Um, I've heard of people, you know, getting injured, hurting their hands while typing. And if you warm up before you do any, like, high skill typing, like 150, you know, any typing that's, like, actually moving your hands really fast, um, it can definitely help you guys avoid injury and keep your hands in the best shape possible. Even if you're not going to get injured by typing, you know, your hands can still hurt if you do, like, 100 session, whatever. You just want to make sure your hands are good. You want to make sure they're staying healthy. Keeping them in good shape uh, because they're the only thing you use to type. I mean, I don't know if you use your toes or anything. But this has gone on far enough. Anyways, warming up is very important. I'll put the links to Type Racer and Monkey Type in the description if you don't already know what they are or how to get to them. Obviously, you can always just Google Monkey Type or Type Racer. Another couple great websites are. Uh, ten fast fingers, typing.com, just any really any website will do the trick. Uh, you can even warm up on Night Drive if you want. I know a bunch of people do that. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you learned something from this, and I hope that you guys continue to warm up before you type if you do already. And if you don't, definitely, definitely, definitely start warming up before you do your typing. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone, and have as always a wonderful day. Peace.